In this video, we will learn about properties of fluids and this video will cover theory portion of this topic. First, we will describe fluid mechanics. So fluid mechanics is that branch of science where we are dealing with the fluid behavior that are at rest as well as in motion. So now first part is fluid statics. So fluid statics is the branch where we are studying the fluid that are at rest means uh, the fluid is not moving fluid is in a container that is at rest. Second one is fluid kinematics. So here we are studying the fluid which is in motion. So when we talk about motion then here we are neglecting the pressure forces. And third part is fluid dynamics. In fluid dynamics we are studying the fluid that are in motion and also we are considering the pressure forces that are acting on this fluid. Let's talk about properties of fluid. So first property is density or mass density. So we denote density or mass density by a symbol called rho. Mathematically we say density is ratio of mass of fluid to the volume of fluid. Its SI unit is kg per meter cube. So when we talk about water the value of density is taken as 1 gram per centimeter cube or 1000 kg per meter cube. Now the second property which we will talk about is specific weight or weight density. So generally we denote this quantity by W. So it is the ratio of weight of fluid to the volume of fluid. So we are dividing the weight by a volume of the fluid. We can rewrite this equation as mass of fluid into acceleration due to gravity because weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity and we are dividing this by volume of fluid. So we can rewrite this equation as multiplication of density into gravity because mass of fluid divided by volume is our density. So we write this quantity that is specific weight as product of density and acceleration due to gravity. For water the value of specific weight is taken as 9.81 multiplied by 1000 Newton per meter cube. So if you want to solve numerical problems based on this theoretical concepts then you can directly go to our channel name Mac dimension so type Mac dimension in the search bar. In search bar type Mac dimension. This is our YouTube channel. Go to this channel and here you will find all the videos related to mechanical engineering. So if you want more videos like this you can directly subscribe our channel. So next property which we will talk about is specific volume. Specific volume is defined as ratio of volume of fluid to the mass of fluid. And we can rewrite this equation as 1 divided by mass of fluid by volume of fluid. So we can define specific volume as reciprocal of density. So here the symbol is rho 1 upon 1 divided by rho. So the unit is meter cube per kg. Next property is specific gravity. So we denote specific gravity by S and specific gravity is defined as weight density of a fluid divided by weight density of a standard fluid. So we can also define it as ratio of density of a fluid to density of a standard fluid. So when we talk about fluid then here we are considering both, both liquid and gases. So when we talk about liquid then we can redefine this specific gravity as weight density or density of liquid divided by weight density or density of water. So it is ratio of weight density of liquid to the weight density of water or density of liquid to the density of water. So when we talk about gases then we can define it as ratio of weight density of gas to weight density of air or we can say density of gas divided by density of air. So now when we have to find the weight density of a liquid then we can directly use the value of specific gravity and we can multiply the specific gravity by weight density of water and we can write it as 
स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नाइन पॉइंट एटी वन न्यूटन पर मीटर क्यूब इफ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द वे डेंसिटी ऑफ अ लिक्विड सो फॉर फाइंडिंग द वे डेंसिटी ऑफ अ लिक्विड वी कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला now if you want to find the density of the liquid and we have been given a uh, value of specific gravity then we can use this value of specific gravity and multiply it by density of water so we can get the density of our liquid and any liquid we can find the density of any liquid by using this formula uh, by multiplying specific gravity by density of water and we know that density of water is taken as 1000 kg per meter cube 